Hey everybody, Jonathan Price here, your podcast producer at AINC. I'm so glad to be bringing you this uh, Wednesday windup. I've got my coffee. My parents actually just came back from Hawaii and they brought me this really cool blend. I guess it's a Kona blend. They, they, Kona coffee, they did this, um, this roast for me. So yeah, bottoms up, grab your drink. Let's dive in. So uh, I'm going to take a sip. Let's go. All right. So we're going to talk about EQ this week. And as I have promised in the past, uh, this, this EQ function is, is pretty important depending on your voice type. Now, some of you may not be editing EQ. That's totally fine. If you just want to record your stuff, get it sent in. That's fantastic. So don't, don't feel like you have to EQ. It's, it's not, um, absolutely necessary. We do push this through a good filter and audio enhancer. So your audio is going to be really nice on the other end. So don't worry too much about this. This is just a good uh, kind of tech tip for you. So I'm going to show you uh, this may look a little bit daunting what you're looking at right now, but don't worry about any of the sliders, any of these faders. I'm not going to worry about anything like that. I'm only going to be focusing on this EQ section right here. Now, if you don't know what EQ is, EQ boosts and uh, reduces different frequencies in your voice. So low end over here, high end over here. That's going to be universal through all EQ plugins. Now, they may be laid out a little bit differently. They may have different frequency um, labels or different frequency nodes or, or spots for them, but it typically goes from low to high. So as I scroll across, you see it's highlighted as the low frequency, the low mids, high mids, highs, and then we have high shelves. Now shelves, uh, instead of having, so like on a, on a low filter, it's gonna give you a Q. So it's gonna come across, it's gonna go up or down, and it's gonna dip either at this point, either higher or lower. I'm not gonna adjust anything yet because I wanna explain some things. Shelves are going to be, if we activate that or deactivate it, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to take anything that is below this and raise the entire thing and just create a flat point. So let's start moving stuff around and you'll understand that when we, when you see things happen. So the low shelf, let's, let's do this first. So the shelf, if I activate it, it's going to pull this whole line up and you're going to hear my voice get really boomy and really um, deep and dark and make me sound way more of a man than I already am. So you're going to hear that boost. Okay. Uh, so when we boost that, we don't really do that in dialogue aspects. We usually do that for a movie trailer. Like if I'm going to do a Transformers trailer and I need that deep rumbly voice, this may be a good opportunity for me to use that. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep it like it is. Uh, so that's the shelf. Now, if I take the shelf off, you're going to see this node as I move around. I can get really specific with what I'm boosting or what I'm cutting. Now, if I cut, you hear my voice get really thin. And that's totally fine. And so I can move, if you have a frequency knob or a Q knob, I'll go through this in a second. The frequency knob just moves the frequency either up or down. So I can take this node, I can move it around, or I can adjust it here. The gain, if, if I go up or down, same thing. I can do the same thing here. And this is going to be pretty universal for all EQs, maybe not some of these features, but then the Q width. So you see how wide it's going to start way down here at zero and it's going to actually go all the way up to about, what is that? Uh, probably 800, 900 Hertz right before it gets to the full thousand where it's at unity or zero. So this Q, I can either make it wider or I can make it really thin and get really tight with where I want specific frequencies to uh, be affected. So that's the low end. I'm gonna leave that um, right at about half. <clears throat> All right, so the low mids, this is where your the body of your voice is going to live. Now you don't see any of my voice popping up here. Um, I do have a spectral analysis that will show my voice and my voice gets really resonant right in here. 
And for a lot of men, their voices are really resonant right here. And so sometimes you may need to boost something in that resonant frequency or cut it out. My typical is um, I usually have a shelf and then I pull that down so it's not as boomy. And then I'm gonna add, for my personal voice, I like to add a little sparkle in the high end just to make it clear, but I'll show you that in a second. So this low mid is where a lot of the female voice is going to live in, in the body of their voice. So uh, you can boost that a little bit if you want to. You can take some of that out. Here's, if, here's an extreme. See, the, the whole body of my voice is gone. You're just hearing a lot of that high end, maybe a little bit of that low. And so if I boost it, it's going to sound super honky and weird. And we don't want that. So we want it to be nice and natural. Um, and so I'm going to move mine about here and change the cue so it's it's affecting just a little portion of the body of mine. I know that in my voice, I get really honky right here. You can hear it in the in the audio. And it just sounds like I'm talking into a tin can. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take a little bit of that out. And then the high frequency, the mid highs, this is where a lot of our sibilants lie, the S's and the harsh consonants. So a lot of times we're going to take this out just a little bit. We still want the S's in there. If I take it out too much, it, it doesn't sound super natural. Uh, you can move this along the spectrum and find out where the S's really start to go away. But if you come up here, you can see that sometimes it's right about here that all the S's get really sharp and harsh. So we come over here, we take that out. Now for my voice, I like to add a little bit of sparkle on the high end just to bring in um, some of the higher frequencies into my voice because it doesn't have a whole lot of high frequencies. So this is kind of what I do. Uh, there's a lot of fun things that you can do about EQ. Move them around, find the way to make your voice sound incredible. And I'm gonna set all these back and we're gonna do some a little bit of a fun, fun thing. So I'm gonna show you the classic radio, uh, one of these radio functions. Uh, sometimes you can sound like you're on a phone call. So it sounds like I'm talking through a phone a little bit. If I take all these up, now it sounds super honky and weird, but it's a lot of fun to mess around with some EQ parameters. Super high, get all the highs, no no lows. Uh, I'm gonna move this all the way over. And so now it sounds super high, there's no body to it. <clears throat> and that's about it. So if you have any more questions, I think next week we're gonna talk about plosives and how to get rid of them. And exactly, uh, you can do that with what's called a the proximity effect and how you're um, facing your microphone. So join me next week. Wednesday wind up. Jonathan Bryce. I'm out.